Globally, 26,000 terawatt hours of electricity is produced every year. Around 10% of that comes from nuclear power, 2,800 terawatt hours. That number has been close to stable for the last 20 years. In this video, we will talk about the fast growth during the 20th century and the stagnation during the 21st, and visualize it on a world map. We start our time frame in 1965. One marker represents five terawatt hours of nuclear power produced yearly. And this year, only the UK is visible on this scale, with 15 terawatt hours. In the following years, the US, Germany, France, Japan and Canada joins the club. And by the 1970s, the United States is the clear frontrunner in nuclear power production globally. The global production passed 100 terawatt hours in 1971 and 12 years later, 1,000 terawatt hours was passed. Please note that this map does not include numbers for the Soviet Union until 1985, when statistics for the republics one by one are available. Between 1977 and the time of the Chernobyl disaster in 1986, the total production in the USSR grew from 50 to over 150 terawatt hours. The disaster in Chernobyl intensified the debate in many nations, but it more flattened the growth curve, rather than halt the growth altogether. Some nations like Italy got rid of their production completely, while others voted to phase it out over time. By the 21st century, the global production had grown to 2,500 terawatt hours, with South Africa, China, Mexico, India and Brazil passing the 5 terawatt production by now. France had invested to be the second largest producer in the world after the US and ahead of Japan and Germany. The Fukushima accident in 2011, following a heavy earthquake, brought the Japanese production to a complete stop, and it has only slowly opened up since then. The accident proved that natural disasters could cause nuclear accidents even in the most developed of nations and brought about new safety regulations and public uproar about the future of nuclear power overall. Germany decided to phase out all nuclear power from their electricity production but still today produce about half of the peak production prior to the Fukushima disaster. So 20 years into the new century, nuclear power has still not proved to be the energy source of the future, it more than once promised to be. New improved technology and an increased push to move away from fossil fuels might mean the incentives for investing in nuclear power in the future could be on the rise again. But so far, the production cost with ever-increasing safety regulations is steep in most nations, and a continuous growth can today basically only be seen in China. China is set out to become the leading nuclear power producer, with the plants currently in the pipeline. Thank you for watching this short introduction into nuclear power, one of the major energy sources of today. I have other videos on power production, if you're interested, you can check them out. <laughs>